Hey everybody, and welcome back to Basics, part four in our look into fitness. All right, again, we are simply looking at the base elements, and this time we're going into gym etiquette. Now, gym etiquette, as you can see, has some several parts to it, but they're again very, very basic. In particular, we're going to start off with the weights, and you'll find out most of this is weight room specific, but it applies to all of them. The weights. Put them back, asshole. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people leave weights on the bar because there's some, oh, I'm so much better than everybody else. I don't have to do that. I'm just going to leave the bars covered in weights. Or they're going to capitalize on a whole bunch of the, the dumbbells, which are the single handheld ones. And you're just like, dude, other people want to work out. It's beyond annoying. And that's a quick way to end up in a fight in, out in the parking lot. You want to be a fucking asshole, not put your weights back, and just be talking all sorts of shit? Don't be surprised if somebody a lot faster and probably a lot stronger than they look is going to take your ass outside and freaking say, let's dance. Don't be that asshole. And before you say, oh, I'm going to go in there with my whole football team, your whole football team's going to get fucking banned. I've seen it happen. So don't think for a second that you're better than everybody else. Put the weights back. You're doing anaerobic exercises when you're doing weights. With the exception of, exception of a circuit. And if that's the case, once you're done with your circuits, put the weights back, asshole. I, I can't stress this enough. Is As you can tell, I'm getting a little spun up because it is one of those things that is unbelievably annoying. Now, noise. This one, not that big of a deal, okay? Especially since people started using headphones, earbuds, whatever the hell else you want to shove in your ears. It's just one of those things. A lot of times, I've actually had to go to the staff and tell them to turn their music down because I can't turn my earbuds up any higher. It is physically starting to hurt me. And I hate to say it, but I have at least once said... When they said, well, we don't have to turn it down. I said, where's your manager? I want to talk to them. Because if I don't get a chance to talk to them, and yes, I did it. I'll, I'll admit, I was the Kevin at that point. Honestly, it wasn't just me. Several people had gone up to complain. I think the lady behind the counter got some sort of weird power trip on it. But the fact of the matter is, when the manager actually showed up, first thing he did was turn the radio down, the music down, because he couldn't even hear me talk. It, yes, it was that loud. I stressed my concerns, everything was good, and I didn't have to put in one of those stupid reviews that's going to probably get the manager fired. The manager was actually pretty cool. Now, when it comes to headphones, ease off the singing. I don't need, to, if you got earphones in, I don't need to hear your stupid whatever the hell you're listening to. Okay? I'm listening to my stuff. And a lot of people listen to podcasts. We don't need somebody yapping in their ear some goofy freaking lyric. It's just the way it is. Ease off the singing. If you want to go along with that, that's fine. No one's going to give a shit. All right. And the yelling. Okay. This is usually limited to power lifters. They're trying to motivate themselves. Guys, if you're going to do it, keep it to a minimum if possible. We understand you're trying to, to get yourself going, and you need to be angry to powerlift. I mean, it's kind of a thing. It's not roid rage before anybody thinks that. Now, we're going to go into attire. I think I misspelled that. That's supposed to be two T's, whatever. Shorts. Okay, if you've got little bird legs, or you got fat-ass ham bones on your legs, no one gives a shit, but wear freaking shorts. Or, you can wear those stretchy pants. Okay, but we're going to go into that in a second. Okay, an appropriate shirt. Okay, this one falls into what I have over here, which is follow the gym rules. You need to follow the specific gym rules. Some of them will not let you work out in a tank top. You must wear a t-shirt. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of gyms where only males are required to wear t-shirts. And females could walk around in the little bikini strap bullshit you guys wear. And I'm sitting there like, how's that fair? But you know what? It's their gym. It's their fucking rules. They can do whatever they want. 
regardless of that, this one is mainly for women, but I have seen guys do this, and I'm just like, dude, no. Sheer clothing. If you don't know what that is, that's when you can actually see through it, especially when somebody bends over. Ladies, I know when you put on those stupid freaking stretchy pants, you bend over in the mirror to see if it makes your ass look big. If I can see your underwear, and even worse, tell what color it is, it's fucking see-through. Okay, and you're turning into what people call a gym thought. Most of us, 90% of us, are there to work out. Okay, we're not going to come up and address you during a workout. That's just bad etiquette. You don't do that. Now, you talk to them afterwards, when they're about ready to leave, if you know when they leave, and you just say, you know, excuse me, talk to them, yada, yada, yada. But that's a whole, whole nother video, which I'm probably not going to do, honestly. Because I've probably just hit most of it. Regardless, nothing sheer. Or letting yourself hang out. Yes, I've seen guys do this. I'm like, no, don't do it. A lot of you are probably out there laughing, giggling at this. Especially if you're younger because you're watching this. It is something you don't want to happen, especially when somebody's spotting you. Okay? It's a bit distracting... When a woman is sitting there getting ready to spot you because you're literally spread wide holding it and you look up and you can see up into her shirt and she's wearing nothing under that freaking top. It's a little difficult to focus. You can laugh a little bit on that one because I, I actually chuckle now but at the time I actually cursed her out. Now, attire, just appropriate attire, shirt, shorts, or some sort of workout pants. And for the love of God, the appropriate footwear. If you're running, get running shoes. If you're just walking, get walkers. It's important that you do that. You need to take care of your feet. Now, the next one is one that gets on everybody's nerves, is hygiene. When you are sweating and you get up off any bench, machine, or anything, you need to wipe it down. The gyms will have wipes there. The sterile wipes, they come up, they're one-time use. Use them, assholes. Okay, just wipe the machine down, wipe the bench down. Even if you didn't sweat, it's just a good practice to be in. And after a while, it just becomes a habit, and it's a good habit. You always want to have good habits, especially when you're working on your fitness. Also, breath. People, if you're a smoker, especially, when you start working out, you are going to be breathing exceptionally heavy. We do not need to smell that shit. Okay? If you think, oh, I'll change to wintergreen dip, it still stinks. Because your body's going to be trying to sweat out a whole bunch of crap you don't want or don't need. So it's going to mix with that and you are going to fucking reek. Do us all a favor. Either brush your teeth or, you know, quit doing that tobacco shit. It's gross anyway. Okay? Along with that is BO, your body odor. Now, there's a small caveat to this one. While you're working out and when you're done prior to your shower, body odor is acceptable. It's annoying, but it's acceptable. But if you walk in and you freaking reek, either A, you don't understand your own personal hygiene, or B, you have a medical condition that you need to see the doc over. Just keep that in mind. Now, bear in mind, I will say, when you burn through fat, especially when you get started, you are going to stink so bad, you're not even going to like the smell of yourself. It's just the way it is. Okay? And for the love of God, shower. Do you know how many times I've actually known people, they refuse to shower? I don't want to get naked in front of strangers. It's not my fault that you're out of shape. And guess what? No one gives a shit. Because everybody who goes here that has gym etiquette knows that everybody starts at zero. Which is what I should have put on the previous video, but I'm going to state it now. Everyone's starting at zero. Everybody starts and restarts, actually, at zero. So if you're out of shape, if you're overweight, and you're blowing through calories and you're sweating up a storm, and you're stinking up a storm, just fucking shower. No one's going to care. 
The only time they look at you in the shower, at least for males, is, excuse me, I need to go by. We're not staring. I don't know what the hell females do in theirs because I'm not in there. But good etiquette says, hey, you're all there to get better. You're not going to rip somebody for trying to make themselves better. If you are, you're the asshole. Now, I've gone on a rant enough. Gym etiquette when it comes to safety. This is in red for good reason. Now, I go over this a lot because I have seen 20-year-olds fuck themselves up permanently because they screwed up. All right? Watch a previous video for some of that. Now, first things first, use the collars on the bars. This is important. Use the collars. If you don't know what the collar is, get the trainers. They'll explain how those work and go over why that's important. All right? It has a lot to do with balance. Make sure if you have weight over you at any time, you have a spotter. If it's weight that is any way, shape, or form questionable, you need a spotter. Even if you are pretty sure you're going to get the weight up, have a spotter. If somebody asks you to come and spot them, don't be a turbo douchebag unless you're in the middle of something and you just cannot break away. If you're in the middle of a circuit and you can't break away, just excuse yourself. No, I can't. Just be polite. But go up. And, excuse me. Can you spot me? It's that simple. Don't try to make it complicated. All right? Also, keep your eyes open. This is not keep your eyes open while you're pushing. A lot of people close their eyes when they move up to heavy weight. Keep your eyes open across and look at everyone that's in there. If somebody's looking wobbly or they're trying to bench and they can't get the bar high enough and they don't have a spotter because they're a dumbass, you, you'll watch. The natural reaction is the legs will kick up. And you'll see people dart from all the way across the gym to go help. Now, because of certain things going on nowadays, it is possible that if somebody like trips on the treadmill and the treadmill whips them off the back, which is honestly hilarious to watch, sometimes people are not going to help because they fear retribution. That shit's got to go away. We're all there to get better, people. We're going through the etiquette so that we can actually have a pleasurable experience while we lift. There's no point in being the asshole in there. Life's hard enough when you're pushing weight. Especially when you're getting started. Especially when you have to go all the way back to the basics. Just keep that in mind, and I'll see you in the gym. This is your crazy uncle. I'm out.